Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. In this lecture, we will study functional completeness. What is this topic? So, this functional completeness, this topic you will find in many subjects. Okay, for example, in propositional logic, in set theory. Okay, in many different subjects, you can find uh, this functional completeness topic. Okay, but this functional completeness, this topic we will study from digital logic point of view. Okay, so in digital logic, you can notice that in Boolean algebra. Okay, you can notice we study many operations. For example, AND operation, OR, NOT, NAND, NOR, XOR, XNOR. All these operations we study in Boolean algebra. Okay, and of course, using these operations, okay, all these operations we can use and using these operations, we can write any Boolean function. So, if I give you any Boolean function, then that Boolean function, uh, you can write the Boolean expression of that function, you can very easily write using all these operations. But the question that we want to ask is, do we need all these operations so this is the question okay do we need all these operations to write the expression of any boolean function okay like for example basically what we want to ask is if we don't have all these okay then what are sufficient operations okay which of them are sufficient operations to write any boolean operation to write boolean uh, expression of any function so for example this is the question that we want to ask what set of boolean operations is sufficient is sufficient is enough to write expression of any boolean function if i give you any boolean function then the expression of that boolean function you can write okay using uh, with set of boolean operations okay so this is the question that we want to ask any such set we call it functional complete so remember functional complete set means functional complete set of boolean expression what it means it means this is a set of operations this is a set of expressions which is enough which is enough to write boolean expression of any boolean function so if i give you any boolean function then that boolean function you can write using the operations in this set so this type of set is called functional complete set for example okay we will see all these we will see the proof of all these but let uh, but example is this and or not okay so this set is functional complete what it means it means that using these operations and or not okay using these three operations we can write expression of any boolean function if you give me any boolean function then i can write the expression of that function using these operations similarly and comma not these are also enough so if i have and operation not operation if you give me these two operations then for any boolean function whatever boolean function you give me for any boolean function i can write the boolean expression okay similarly this NAND operation, this itself, this alone is enough to write the expression of any Boolean function. So, if you have this NAND operation, then using this NAND operation, or using only this operation, you don't need any other operation. Using only this operation, you can write the expression of any Boolean function. Similarly, NOR, this itself, this alone, this operation alone is sufficient to write the expression of any Boolean function. Similarly, OR, comma, NOT, these two operations, OR, comma, NOT, these two operations together, okay so they are enough to write the expression of any boolean function so this is this is what we call functional complete set so this is a functional complete set this is a functional complete set this is a functional complete set this and this so all these are functional complete set okay similarly in digital circuit so this is uh, you can notice from boolean algebra point of view we so what is this okay so from boolean algebra point of view because in boolean algebra we have boolean operations these are the boolean operations that we have in boolean algebra and then we want to find what are the operations that are enough to write the expression of any boolean function now from digital circuit point of view in digital circuit what we have we have logic gates so if you have any digital circuit then that digital circuit we can create by help of these logic gates so these logic gates we study for example this is or gate this is and gate this is not gate or you can say inverter this is inverter this is nand gate this is nor gate this is x xnor and this is xor gate okay so you can notice that these are the logic gates that we study and any digital circuit whatever digital circuit you have so any digital circuit uh, basically okay any combinational circuit uh, if you have any combinational digital circuit then that circuit we can implement we can realize using these operations okay using these uh, logic gates now do we need all of them so this is the question that you will ask do we need all these gates to implement any digital circuit okay or or can can we have for example can we use some of them and maybe some of them are enough to implement any boolean circuit uh, any digital circuit 
so basically we want to see what set of logic gets what set of logic gets is enough to implement any digital circuit this set of logic gets which is enough to realize any digital circuit this is called functional complete set of gets okay so you can notice that this functional completeness this we have seen from boolean algebra point of view in this we we talk about we talk about operations in digital circuit we talk about logic gates and we want to find which logic gates are enough to implement any digital circuit if you give me any digital circuit then using which using which of these gates uh, i can realize that circuit okay similarly in set theory in set theory we have these operations union intersection complement set difference symmetric difference so all these operations we study in set theory now do we need all of them do we need all these operations to write any set theory expression so in set theory for example let's assume a comma b comma c they are set then for example if i want to write this set okay a this is same symmetric difference remember this is symmetric difference so i can say i can write like this okay so this is symmetric difference a symmetric difference b minus c so you can notice that this operation that we have this expression that we have this is a set this is a set you can notice but can i realize can i implement can i write this set okay using these operations this is the question that we want to ask basically do we need all these operations to write the set theory expressions no the answer is this is enough means if you have union intersection and complement using these three operations you can write any set theory expression similarly union comma complement that itself is enough if you don't have intersection if you don't use intersection then union comma complement that is enough to express any set theory expression okay so you can notice similarly in propositional logic in propositional logic these are the logical connective that we study in propositional logic we study and or so this is conjunction disjunction negation xor this is by implication implication and nor all these connectives we study in in propositional logic but in propositional logic we have propositional formula so if you have propositional formula then do we need all these operations do we need all these connectives in propositional logic to write the to write any propositional formula no the answer is that these are enough means if you have conjunction disjunction negation if these three operations you have if these three connectives you have then any propositional logic formula you can express in terms of these three connectives similarly these are also enough implication comma negation what it means it means that any propositional logic expression whatever propositional logic expression you have that expression you can express okay using only these two operations using only these two connectives similarly this nor this itself is enough similarly this nand this itself is enough this alone this nand alone can express every propositional logic formula similarly this okay xor this is true xor true comma and okay so this is also enough to express any propositional logic formula so these are the points basically all these are functional complete set so these are functional complete set in propositional logic because in propositional logic we write propositional formula and we want to see which set which set is enough to write any propositional logic formula similarly you can notice that these are the functional this is a functional complete set in set theory so i can say this is a functional complete set in set theory so i can say any set theory expression you can represent you can express using these three operations or using these two operations so you can notice these two operations are enough to express any set theory expression similarly in digital circuit i can say in digital circuit we will see we will see that okay we will see that this nand gate this nand gate itself this nand gate itself is enough i can say okay so this nand gate this itself is enough every digital circuit whatever digital circuit you have every digital circuit you can you can realize using only nand gate similarly this nor gate itself is enough so if you have nor gate let's assume you don't have nand you don't have you don't have nor you don't have or you don't have all these gates let us assume you only have nor gate then using nor gate only using nor gates okay you can implement any digital circuit okay so this is the idea basically this is the idea of a functional complete similarly in in boolean algebra you can notice so these operations are enough i can say these this operation itself is enough so you can notice these are the functional complete set in boolean algebra so you can notice this functional completeness okay 
दिस टॉपिक यू कैन स्टडी इन मेनी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स यू कैन स्टडी इन बुलेन एल्जेब्रा यू कैन स्टडी इन डिजिटल सर्किट्स यू कैन स्टडी इन सेट थ्योरी यू कैन स्टडी इन प्रोपोजिशनल लॉजिक सो इन मेनी डिफरेंट एरियाज यू कैन स्टडी दिस फंक्शनल कंप्लीटनेस टॉपिक ओके एंड द डेफिनेशन फाइनली दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फंक्शनल कंप्लीट व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन एनी सेट ऑफ ऑपरेशन ओके दैट इज फंक्शनल कंप्लीट इफ सो फ्रॉम डिजिटल लॉजिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फ्रॉम बुलेन एल्जेब्रा फ्रॉम लॉजिक गेट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो फ्रॉम डिजिटल सर्किट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई कैन से दैट a set of operation if functional complete if every boolean function can be can be expressed using only these operations okay so this is the idea behind functional complete okay and in the next lecture we will see some examples and we will see what are the set which are functionally complete okay thank you